How you doing guys? Just a quick video following on from the sort of squat video that we did. Again, I said that there'd be a link to sort of improving that sort of calf mobility. If you already have that hip mobility, simple, simple test is by lying on the ground. Take your hip mobility. Can you easily get your knee close 45 degrees to your chest without this leg shooting up? Like that's a very basic test to see if you even have hip mobility. If you do have that, it's more than likely a pass to stop you from squatting. Again, it's probably a pass can't go forward, you are right on your toes because these are very tight and these can't go forward and you can't arrive on your knee. So if you're having that sort of problem, there's um, two quick steps you can do. There is a more advanced way of doing this, but there's no point in showing you. I'm going to show you with equipment that you definitely have and something you can definitely do at home. So it's three steps. The first step is take a lacrosse ball, a hard ball. Okay, you're going to take it, put it down on the ground. Two minutes, you're going to spend rolling out your foot. So put quite a bit of weight through the arch of your foot. Again, the sort of soft tissue bit of your foot, starting from below the ball to the heel. Mash that up for two minutes. Once you've done that, then you're going to move to your calf. So your calf muscle, you have a lower calf, then you have a calf structure there, so which is higher up. You're going to work on both for two minutes. So simply get a nice soft pad, or a pad, or a pillow. Get the roller. Again, you can buy any roller from, say, DA Fitness, Cork Street, or online. It's around 20, 30 quid. And also, I'm going to cross balls for the 255 quid. So, what you're going to do is jam the roller in into the back of the leg and sit back on it with as much weight as possible. It's quite uncomfortable, and you're digging into all that muscle, finding sore spots and really working them out. Even lower it down, and down, and then also do it for two minutes, spend some time on sore spots, and move back up. Once you've done that for two minutes, the final third step is simply stretching your calf out, okay? So, oh shoot, I'm back on real quickly. So, the best way to do it is make the stretch as easy as possible. The way I like doing it is up against the wall. So, simply come over to, say, a rig, squat rack, toe up, heel in as close as you can, the leg, then straight, squeeze your quad, and then try and bring your hips towards the rack or the wall. Hold this again for two minutes. You can hold even longer once the sort of foot doesn't go numb and you're really working towards getting the hip closer, getting a deep, deep stretch. You can also progress it onto if you've done that, then sort of just really start going into those corners of the ankle to find that sort of sticky spot. Come down, straight forward, to the side, to the side. So that necessarily be a fourth step. You can also do that. So you do that two minutes rolling out the cross ball, then two minutes. Jam it into the back of the leg, a two minute stretch, six minutes either side in total. We'll see you arrive at a better squat with knees being able to go forward. And again, you need to do this every day. It's fairly simple if you want to arrive somewhere, if you ever have a problem with something and it's not that good, the more you do it, the quicker you get to your end goal. So it's definitely something you can do every day. Two minute absolute minimum to see results. You can also do it twice side the leg. Do that to see how you get on and then progress to deeper, more efficient. Healthier squad.